slot um, for this morning. Um, and this is our roundup spotlight slot. Um, and we're very lucky in that we're now going to not one, not two, but three individuals um, from the Ore Deposits Hub. Um, so I don't know which one of you is leading the way. Alana, is it yourself that's kicking off? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to kick off today, Sierra. Thanks. Okay, brilliant. Over to your wonderful self. Thank you. Okay, so thanks very much, Sierra and Rose, and everyone who's contributing to the Responsible Raw Materials Conference this week. It's very exciting for us to be here. Um, yeah, I'm here today with my colleagues, Aaron Hunter and Marion Grosjean. Um, and in our day jobs and our night jobs, we're usually final year PhD students in ore deposit geology. Um, but since March, in our spare moments, we've been spending a bit of time along with our fellow geologist and colleague, Tom Belgrano, who's a postdoc in Southampton. Um, and we've been setting up an initiative called Ore Deposits Hub. And Ore Deposits Hub is an online platform um, for geoscience talks on ore deposits. And today, we'd like to share with you some ways that we've seen and that we imagine the oil geology community and mining community can become more responsible through digital communication. So then let's get started um, with a story. And let's go here. So in March, a storm was brewing over the world and that is COVID-19. It canceled long look forward to travel plans, day-to-day -day meetings, conferences far and wide, as we sought to keep our families and friends safe. And just like that, my friend and fellow geologist, Tom Belgrano, was barracked in his home office with his family and the bare essentials of laptop, hand sanitizer, and of course, toilet paper. But after one week, he was searching for connection, a connection with colleagues in science, one that he would get at conferences and in meetings, uh, an interaction that is providing scientific inspiration. And all of this, suddenly seemed to be behind bars. So unable to race to his uh, nearest geologist watering hole, uh, colleague Tom posed a question to the world of geologist tweeters. And that was basically, who is interested in open geoscience talks on autobots online? So from home offices all over the world, we got replies of encouragement pleas for us to fill the gaping hole left in scientific exchange where day-to-day -day meetings and face-to-face -face conferences and travel once were. So Tom and I got down to business and we came up with an idea and a mission and that is Ore Deposits Hub. So Ore Deposits Hub um, is, going to is offering a platform for open scientific exchange online which can overcome the restrictions of COVID-19 and hopefully continue afterwards. So so far, um, what Ore Deposit Hub offers is keynote type speakers like we'd hear at big SCG or SGA conferences, but in what feels like a small um, meeting room style with up to 200, 300 people. And so far, we've had a great success. We've run over the last six weeks, nine talks, seven of which you can see here. And you can see here on, um, on the right that there's been attendances in the few hundreds and we are now connected with over 2,000 people in our email subscribers list. And those people are truly coming from every corner of the world. And now we have up until mid-August talks booked in two times a week each Wednesday. So with that, I'd now like to hand over to Aaron and Marion, who will share some of the benefits that we see for the global community embracing digital scientific communication, just like uh, all Deposits Hub and also Responsible Rural Materials Conference, especially in terms of diversity and emissions. Thanks, Alana. So I want to talk about communication, which is all the little lights you can see on this map that keep, keep us all connected. Communication has always been based on evolving and changing how we interact with our community. And that's still the case today. I mean, two months ago, scientific conferences were planned all over the world. Most people hadn't heard of Zoom and social distancing meant avoiding the coworker at your office that you don't like. But today companies are scrambling as earth science professionals in the mineral resource field, what can we do to keep up? So 
Board Deposits Hub was started to help facilitate this scientific dialogue as we transition to a world of digital communication. Our goal is to help connect people around the world to share scientific knowledge from those who know it best to those who need it most. And our long format 45 minute talk, 45 minute discussion ensures that everyone's a participant and the information from scientific and industry experts is reaching further than ever. So this is why we see a possibility for Ore Deposits Hub to be a true communications cogwheel. There's no limit to Im information sharing in the internet age with tools like Facebook, Twitter, and Zoom. Our sponsors, SGA, S SEG, and IAGOD have helped make it possible for Ore Deposits to start to turn some of the uh, gears of scientific communication. Our seminars have a capacity for over 500 people, or for four or 500 people, and um, they can, you can listen from wherever you want in a comfortable setting, from your phone, from your laptop, from your office, it doesn't matter. And you can ask your questions directly to the presenter. If you miss a talk, well, geography won't stop us because we upload our videos to YouTube whenever we can. So as Alana said, our growth in subscribers has skyrocketed during the first few months, but there are really a ton of opportunities to grow from Ore Deposits Hub. We can't do it without help from our community. So what are the possibilities on the horizon that you could get involved with, with us? So in terms of industry, we're already being joined by mining industry professionals, both as speakers and participants. And we hope to offer more targeted seminars for mining sector development soon so that industry geos can make the best decisions in the field while learning at home. Speaking of the field, digital learning has the power to host virtual field excursions, and these are popping up all over the web. We at Ore Deposit Hub want to start to bring that field learning to your home or office as well. But the resources sector isn't limited to exploration as we've seen today. Other aspects of this field, such as sustainability of resource extraction, mine recovery and closure, these all have a place on Ore Deposits Hub too. Lastly, a huge opportunity is the possibility we have to teach students about mineral resources, informing the public about where our things come from. We have an opportunity to share this, share science, uh, earth science with young people from all walks of life and really help get this knowledge out there. So with a bright vision and tons of room for growth in Ore Deposits Hub. I'm going to let Marianne tell us about the more benefits of virtual scientific communication. Thanks, Aaron. So yeah, virtual communication platforms like Ore Deposit Hubs um, have tons of benefits in today's world. The first one we can already observe is the accessibility to free knowledge. Here, you're looking at a map showing the location of the research universities publishing in earth sciences where blue shows the most cited papers, while the size of the circle is the amount of published papers. We observe that North America, Europe, and Australia are overrepresented in high-ranking journals compared to the other parts of the world. However, on the map from our subscribers, we observe a great interest from places which do not publish in high-impact high journals, for example, Turkey, or South America, Africa, and Asia. In these countries, the interest for science is obviously high, but globally open source science is limited and top journals are often inaccessible. By offering a free digital solution, we gain diversity while at the same time opening new horizons for future generations. Another aspect of diversity is the balance between men and women in earth sciences. Our Deposit Hub is trying to increase the number of women on our platform because we know how important it is to present women researchers as an example for the younger generations. In March and April, we received only few applications from women. Uh, therefore, we have reviewed our strategy by sending invitations to women and encouraging them to present. And while we had only three women out of the 15 uh, first speakers, Invitation helped reestablish the balance for June and July, reaching, as you can see, an equal number of men and women in July. Seeing women uh, senior researcher on the front of the scene is really important for the next generation. His viewpoint article from a biology journal 
tells us that in the field of biomedical research, for example, at the postdoc level, 45% of the employees are women. And this number drops down to only 19% of the senior research positions. And even at our deposit hub, we have an example that highlights this phenomenon. We have organized um, an early career day, it's in two weeks, uh, giving the opportunity to six PhD and postdoc to present their work. And 100% of the application we have received were from women, showing a really high motivation at this stage of their career. But there remains the open question, how can we keep them in the game? Well, our deposit hub hopes to take a small step by encouraging more female role models to speak on our platform. And finally, the last benefit of digital communication is a reduced carbon footprint. 300 people attending the Art Deposit Hub seminar per week would consume approximately 540 ton uh, CO2 equivalent. To give you a broad idea, one tree consumes 0.24 ton CO2 equivalent per year, meaning that you would need at least 2,200 trees growing over a year to erase the impact of a four-day conference. And what about the carbon footprint of a four-year PhD like Alana, Aaron, or myself? This study shows that a good PhD student, as good PhD students, sorry, we are using labs, computer, eating tons of food to forget how stressed we are. And this is probably, what, 90% of our time? And then once a year, we go to conferences. By reducing these trips abroad, by trying to organize as many meetings as possible online, my colleague and I could reduce our carbon footprint by one third. So let's reflect on the reduction of carbon footprint we would all have by adapting to digital, digital communications. Our deposit hub hopes to set an example of open science that increases diversity and reduces our impact on the climate. So as we zoom out and look across the globe, we can wonder what a post COVID world could look like. And as some countries start to emerge from lockdown into the sunlight, our team at Ore Deposits Hub encourages industry and the scientific community to explore the benefits of the digital space. Stretch out your arms to an open, diverse, green and responsible future of digital communication. And thank you from us at Ore Deposits Hub. Thanks. Brilliant. Thank you very, very much, guys. And again, a round of applause um, from all of us who are muted um, behind those microphones. Uh, we've got a couple of minutes left. Um, so anybody who's got any questions from the wonderful team at the Ore Deposits Hub, um, please feel free to feed them in. Um, and also as well, you'll see that they have very kindly posted the website address to Ore Deposits Hub on the chat, which is just www.oredepositshub.com. Dot com. Um, so a question, I don't know, um, Alana, if, if you're the right one to answer or if you want to pass it sideways to one of your team. Um, so I think this is absolutely brilliant and something that has long been a conversation at those conferences that you guys have mentioned is the fact that it provides massive barriers to people actually being able to engage in the conversation. And I think the map that you showed um, showing the, um, the kind of the, the leaning towards North America, Europe um, and Australasia being those key points where people tend to cite one another's papers, et cetera, um, and is therefore missing out so many perspectives and ideas across the world. I think this is absolutely brilliant. Um, but then maybe taking it a step further and something that a lot of universities for example, are struggling with at the moment is how do you keep your lectures, et cetera, going? And is something that you guys have set up here, is, is, is there a new way of imagining university degrees across the world using something like the techniques you guys are deploying within All Deposits Hub? Is that something you've been thinking about or is that something that could be used by universities? Uh, yeah, uh, that's a great point, Sarah. Um, the map that we have of our subscribers defi definitely shows that people really want to learn and want to get involved in understanding the mining community and uh, ore deposit science. And it would be great if we could have more virtual communication in that sense. And I think there are already some um, universities out there trying to offer a digital and a virtual um, component to their teaching. Uh, but I think it would definitely be a great outlook for 
um, people to look at, not just because of COVID-19, but also in terms of uh, increasing diversity across the board and giving access to uh, those people. Uh, Aaron or Marion, do you have something to add there? But yeah, I would like to say that um, I think it's pretty reasonable to, to suggest that at least an individual class could be offered online. I don't know about an entire university degree, and that's certainly beyond the scope of Word Deposits Hub. But because we're able to host a lot of our videos on YouTube, that information in the lecture, at least, it stays there for forever. I mean, for, for anyone who missed the talk initially to see. And so a lot of our videos, especially from one month ago, have already gotten several thousand views, which means that people are continuing to go back to this knowledge database and watch these lectures again and maybe again if they really want. So I think that's a, a really good um, part of the legacy. Like this knowledge doesn't disappear after the, the video conference is over. And the same here with uh, the Responsible Raw Materials Conference. Having it hosted on YouTube makes it accessible to so many more people than just who could, who could be in the room at the moment. I think to, to your point there, Aaron, as well. So, for example, currently we have 21 people watching on YouTube. And then in terms of people who have signed up to this conference, which, as I think everyone's aware, um, Rose and myself only started organizing it two weeks ago. Um, and we've got 350 people who are, who are signed up to this conference, which consists of 50 talks from all over the world throughout the week, which I think is really, really exciting. Um, and I mean, as we saw with the previous talk from David's, you know, that's a conversation where we're coming at the same um, problems and challenges with regards to responsibility from different directions. And perhaps one of the key ways for addressing that is talking and more importantly, listening to one another. Um, so I think just maybe to, to finish off with um, from you guys at the, the Ore Deposits Hub, do you have any hints or tips to share with the rest of us with regards to how we can all optimize our online sharing and learning from one another? What can we all be doing in our own spaces to try and break down those silos and barriers between all of our own areas of technical and non-technical expertise? What can we do? Yeah, I guess um, going back to what Aaron kind of mentioned at the beginning of this section was um, we would really love to have Ore Deposits Hub like open up to some more areas of the mining and ore deposit community. And the fact is, I think one of the biggest hurdles for starting the digital communication age is such, um, it already exists partly, but it's setting up the infrastructure. Um, I'm sure you've experienced setting out for this conference, like it does take a bit of time to do that. And we do have that kind of established now um, with Zoom and uh, with other online communication tools. But um, I think at All Deposits Hub, if someone does have an idea and they would like to come to us and say, yeah, we'd like to do, um, like Aaron mentioned, something on more on the environment side and like kind of longer talks perhaps than can be done in such in, in 10 minutes, like we've, we're having a great during this conference. But um, I hope that All Deposits Hub could help people also do that and become a real hub for sharing of knowledge and uh, yeah, and the other thing is, yeah, once you have the infrastructure in place, then it's pretty easy to keep going, I think. And it's just a matter of overcoming that and setting up. Great. Any, any comments, uh, Marion or Aaron, from yourself, just in closing? Uh, yeah, I think Alana is right. Once the infrastructure is there, it's, it's super easy to pop up. And if you have access in Canada and Europe, why not having access in, like, in Senegal can also join and every country so no, I think it's it's great and I think every now and then some presentation that professor or teachers are giving should be recorded and displayed online more often probably. Yeah the, the last thing I would say is that in the end really we were just like four PhD or early career professionals um, who decided to sort of make this communications effort on our own. And so we put this with a, um, a lot of help from our community. We've helped put, we put this together in just a month and a half or, or just over, just under two months now. So it's not something that takes 
I mean, none of us have any experience in communications or web development at all. So making these communications initiatives uh, is something that anyone can do if you have the desire to get the community together. And the other thing is we do see Ore Deposits Hub hopefully as a hub. So that means having environmental, uh, industrial, investor, um, and governmental uh, channels, if you will, on our on our site. And that would be really cool. And that's a project that we will need more help with um, and are always looking for, for more collaborators with that. So. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much to the three of you and good luck with it going forwards.